Hello, I'm Charlene White. The family of a teenager being held in Greece on suspicion of murder say they're determined to clear his name. Miles Lichmore Dunbar from Catford is accused of stabbing a 19-year-old man to death in a fight outside a nightclub in Malia on the island of Crete. His family is appealing for witnesses to come forward ahead of a bail hearing on Monday. Ronke Phillips went to meet them. Some people see a problem, they look the other way. Um, Moles didn't look the other way. We want people to be peacekeepers, and from everything we've been hearing, Moles was a peacekeeper, not just during the incident, but before it as well, and that will come out. Andrew Lichmore explains how he believes his nephew became involved in a brawl outside a bar on the holiday island of Crete, which ended with a teenager being stabbed to death. And we've got to make sure that he's not punished for being a peacekeeper, because he's been there and he's been trying to help and everything we've been hearing has just confirmed what we already knew, that he's innocent. Miles Lichmore Dunbar faces a year in a Greek prison, awaiting trial following the fight 10 days ago, in which 19-year-old Tyrell Matthews Burton was stabbed to death. Greek police later found a knife hidden inside a shoe in Miles' hotel room, but the family insists it did not belong to him. The knife was found. Have you been told if Miles' fingerprints are on the knife? There are no, um, there's no fingerprint evidence back yet. There's no DNA evidence. There's no DNA evidence, no forensic evidence, no fingerprint evidence at all. The room was a shared room. He wasn't the only person in that room, and that wasn't reported to start with. Um, we as a family very quickly worked that out because we thought there's no way a knife could be in his room and it could be in Miles' knife. And what about the blood that was on Miles' clothes? What explanation does he have for that? There's a brawl happening. There's a number of boys who had blood on them. And so that's his explanation for why he had blood on him, along with a number of other boys. Two other teenagers who were also arrested have since been freed on bail and allowed to return to the UK, leaving Miles, a former model who's studying for an economics degree, to languish in jail on his own. The family say dozens of other holidaymakers witnessed the fight and they're now desperately appealing for them to come forward. They believe those eyewitnesses could not only help clear their nephew, but also uncover the evidence which will lead to the real killer. And so we want justice for this young man's family. This, this fight we've got here, is, it's not about justice just for Miles. Like this. No. It's justice for two sons, yeah. not just for one. Yeah. And there will be no justice until the real person, the real perpetrator is caught. Yeah. It's that simple. Yeah. Until they're caught, there will be no justice. Ronke Phillips, ITV News, Forest Hill. A man has been charged with the murder of a moderate.